moon, that's the root, what it do? It's the same, was around me, no recruits. Stay down when it's cloudy, not a sun. I just want the cheese like where the Packers be. Never move out what's the Hollywood, that's where the actors be. Never trust again if you had ever turned your back on me. Heard you got that bag, well, I must have that hefty guy on me. Yo, yo, yo. What's going on, family? What's happening? Yo, yo, yo. <laughs> Sneaky Tina, eh? <laughs> yo, what's the sound like, guys? What's the sound like? Are we all good? What's everyone saying, man? We are rested. We are rested. We are ready for the week coming, guys. Coming out of Monday. Yeah, Monday, false move week beginning. We got a lot of shit to talk about tonight, guys. What's happening? Yeah, XRP has done nicely. PC shed, my guy. What's happening, Lisa? Ioan is Yasu, man. Pejo, David, Critania, what's good, what's good? Guys, mad props to Critania and Solange, man. They went and tattooed the pattern before I did. Can you believe that? They went and tattooed the pattern, man, before I even got to do it. That's crazy. Dedication right there, man. Mad love to all of you girls, man. So how is everyone? <laughs> Solange, man, <laughs> you smashed it. <laughs> it seems like, I mean, I've been paying attention to the Discord and the Telegram and so much for not trading on the weekends, guys. You guys ripped it. But I think with not trading at the weekends, you're at least being more aware of your trading behavior because that's really what I'm trying to get across to you guys, right? I'm trying to make you be more mindful about your approach to trading, especially at the weekend, because if you see a pattern form, all right, and everything is stacked in your favor, pay to play, all right? It's all good doing projections, but if you're in this game where you're trying to learn this game and understand how to apply it, how to apply the knowledge, you need to pay to play, guys, and keep it as cheap as possible, all right? Don't make the mistake of paying the price. Don't, don't make the mistake I made where I was happy to go all in just to learn the lesson. I could have done it in a cheaper way, all right? Ultimately, I'm executing the same trade. It's just a different stake, yeah? Guys, look, I'm, I, I'm not changing no one's lives. You guys are changing your lives. Why? Because you guys are coming in and dedicating the time, all right? There's a commitment from everyone. There is a cost from everyone and that cost is time. Money comes and goes, guys. All right, money comes and it goes. It gets transferred from one pocket to the next, but ultimately time is the one thing that we can't replace, okay? That's the true cost. Now, how much you value your time and what you do with your time, you dedicate time to this bad boy here, you will reap the benefits. I ain't changing no one's lives. You're changing your lives, all right? You've come to something, you understand that there is something here, apply it, go and do it, guys, all right? We got fucking money to make. Or patterns to see excuse my french i'm very affluent in my french man I, I speak you know perfect french you know it's not because i ah uh, who cares anyway so where we at where we at let's have a look yep low volumes arnold arnold isn't it your birthday today my friend yesterday sorry wasn't it your birthday yesterday or have i missed it golden hue was good What's good, Jared? Arnold, is it your was it your birthday? Sack trades was good. 
Yeah, Ben, I mean, you should get your, your KYC should be sorted pretty much either tonight or tomorrow, man. They're very quick like that. Peter Storms, what's good? Let me just say what's up to people, man. Mari Kuberg, what's good, man? Kano, what's happening, man? A mere mortal, what's good? Bang out the zone, what's happening? Francesco, Fabio, Drew Durant. Arnold, is it your birthday, my friend? It was, yeah, guys, listen, say happy birthday to Arnold for me, guys. Just say happy birthday to my guy. Hey, what's up, Greece? God, we're all pumped tonight, man. We're ready for the information this evening, guys, because we've got a lot to discuss. We have a lot to discuss. Happy days, man. <laughs> Everyone's pumped. There you go, Arnold. Happy birthday, my friend. Happy birthday, bro. There you go, man. The power of people, man. The power of communities right there. Okay, then. So, whilst we're waiting for his birthday, Arnold's birthday wishes to pass by. Type 1, if you took a trade this weekend and it was profitable. Type 2, if you took a trade and it wasn't profitable. Go. I want to see where my people are at. Right, nice. Not many twos. That's okay. Okay, so one and two means you took a trade. It's profitable. Took another trade. It wasn't. That's fine. Okay. Okay, that's good. Wicked. Okay, cool. Zero trades. That's good. That's not a problem. Guys, even if you didn't take a trade, it's still a position. Remember, cash is a position. Remember that. Real Noriega, man. Ken Barbie, what's happening? I learned from one. Learn a click. Learn a lot. Click. Wicked. I'm guessing a few people have had moment, you know, the, those moments of clicking. Yeah? This guy's, I mean, I'll be honest with you. Watching, I've, I, I've done my very hardest to try and stay away from the charts because sometimes I like to reset and come back to the charts, you know, and just be like, okay, what have I got planning? I mean, just look at that sickness right there. Let me bring it for you right now. I mean, just look at that pattern. Patreons, you guys received this. Okay, you can see the before and after of this pattern playing out to a T. You can't draw projections that close, man. That is crazy. You can't draw them that close. You know what? For the nature of the game, I'm going to show you what image... The guy's got earlier on. I'm going to show you right now. Here we go. Here you go, guys. So this is the image that I sent to the Patreons earlier on today. All right. Now, I can't you obviously I can't um, use any annotation tool, but you can see clearly that we have formed we came out the W formation, price moved up, okay, filled the gap. I anticipated that the M5 would see a retrace, which is where price is at right now. It pulls back, right? And it's just perfectly sat right there. This is the power of projection, guys. It's so important that you get into the habit of projecting, all right? Because if you don't learn projection, you're not going to learn the system. Look at where she is right now. How beautiful is that? beautiful play all right we knew. guys look you can see that green candle right look how aggressive the move is to the upside yeah so important so important that you see that let me see i'm looking to see his delay there you go that's it cool all right then cool let me just move this across here Happy days. Let me pin my chat out. Awesome. 
wonderful. Oops, don't want to do that. Yeah, we are good to go. Okay, yeah, so you can see that, yeah? Just turn the music down ever so slightly. Yeah, or oh, guys, listen, if you're a Patreon, big love, what's happening, Bristol? Paul G, what's good? There you go. Guys, if you are Patreons, always try and look at the Patreon posts, man, because they effectively give you the projections and, you know, it, it gives you a... It, the Patreon is designed to help you guys look into my mind when I'm looking at how price is behaving and what Bitcoin or Ethereum is doing. All right? And granted, she's done very well today, Bitcoin has. Now, for me, on the 15-minute time frame, okay... We can see the following. So let's start breaking shit down and see where we are. So you can see, I mean, over the weekend, Bitcoin has completely taken every projection zone that we've been putting out. All right. Every single one has been hit. I'm very impressed with Bitcoin. She's done very well. I'm going to clean these projection points up. But look, you can see how she was coming to that point. Completely cleared it right there. Happy days. All right. But do you notice the big thing about these projections? Look at how close they are. All right. Do you want me to give you a projection where price starts from here and goes all the way down to like down here? I mean, that's a bit of a wild, not a wild claim, but we're about improving our percentage at success. That's what it's about. So if I give you a projection which starts from here and finishes down here, you're pretty much, you know, not guaranteed because anything can happen, but you improve the odds of it working in your favor when you understand the general context of what's happening in the market. And that's the key. That's the key to being a short term day trader. All right. It's exploiting the moves that, are, you know, that have a high probability of them occurring. That's your goal as a trader. All right. Swing traders, they, you know, I take my hat off to swing traders because they can they sit through some wild ass swings, man, you know. They sit through some big swings. I, I can't sit through those swings. I'm not in the... In I, I don't like the idea of exposing my capital to the market makers for so long because I'm going to be paying swap fees. I'm You know, the longer I hold the trade, it's going to cost me more money to pay. Uh, it's just, it's too much, you know? So I'm in and I'm out. Hellsy Street. Okay, cool. Nah, man. Listen, if you're driving, just don't. Just hear what I'm saying. All right. Don't worry. I'll give you this. I'll give you the prices. Okay. Just, just, just hear what I'm saying, man. Please be careful. I mean, Ripple's done very well. <laughs> range daily high. I'm expecting a pullback from this zone. The new range daily high has been hit. The ranges have actually been twisted up a little bit. It's range daily low for the session is there. Range daily high is there. It's a very small zone. Got to be very careful with. Um, with Ripple. Funnily enough, I was on the phone to Mike earlier on and it was at like, what, 83? And it's just gone and zoomed to the sky right there. Ripple is doing fantastic. All right. And I know PC Shed is ripping it with this trade as well. Absolutely destroying it. <laughs> Ripple's only going to the moon because PC Shed's told it to. Simple. <laughs> Matty G, yeah, you see what I'm saying, bruv? <laughs> 17k swap fees what is that what is that that's awesome atom west that's good wow bitcoin's next move all right and let's start talking moves Let's start talking moves. Guys, listen, I'm always going to start the streams with Bitcoin and Ethereum. We'll have a look at some altcoins in a bit. All right. I will give you that luxury this evening because I know a few guys have been trading some altcoins. But I'm also going to let you guys know about a few changes with the stream. Okay. So we're going to have a bit of a schedule in place because I know some people want to watch the streams. And I keep banging on about watching the streams, but I don't give you guys a chance to watch them because every time you've got an evening to watch them, I come on and stream. All right. So this is the new schedule that's going to be coming into play. Now, typical me. Mondays, I won't be streaming. Typical. It's Monday this evening, but it's in effect once this stream ends. All right. So Monday nights, we don't stream. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, 
we stream from 10 o'clock at night GMT. So 10 p.m. GMT all the way through till quarter past one GMT in the morning. Okay, 1 a.m. No, yeah, so 1.15 a.m. GMT. All right, might roll over. It depends on what's happening in Tokyo. But because of daylight saving, it means that Hong Kong is going to be going, it's going to be opening at 2 a.m. All right, and I can't be doing that with what I need to get done for the channel and for the Patreons. All right. Now, Friday night, I'm going to be streaming as well. Same time, but I'll be finishing a little bit earlier. But then I'll be going over to Mike because we're going to be having guests come onto the podcast and we're going to start talking things, you know, make it more interesting. Yeah, we're going to start looking at doing other things as well. Can we do some gaming and what have you? You know, we've got so many things in the pie just to make life interesting, not just talk about charts. We need to come away from the charts to process the information that we're absorbing throughout the week. Believe me, it can be quite tiring. Hearing the same thing over and over again, you need to process it. So we just take your attention away from it and then it's going to process in the back of your mind. All right. Saturday mornings, we've got the YouTube members, YouTube members and patrons where we do four extremes where I'm going to be doing a couple of live trades and talking about them with the YouTube members and the Patreon members as well. So that's coming this week. All right. And the next couple of weeks as such. And then we've also got the new channel where I'm going to be using the projections that I've got for Bitcoin, Ethereum and a few altcoins as well. That's exclusively for projections. All right. There's not going to be no how to's or anything. It's just if you guys can't make the streams and you want to know where Bitcoin's at or Ethereum, you go to that channel and you're able to just get a 10 minute video on what I see Bitcoin doing as of play. All right. So there's a lot of stuff happening, man. There's a lot of stuff happening for you guys. I said so that we're, things are going to be changing. So, and then Sundays we do have a stream as well. Um, same time, 10 p.m. till quarter past one in the morning. Okay, so I'm going to get that all typed up for you guys so you can see it as well. It's going to be changed on the YouTube channel, but happy days anyway. All right, cool. So let's have a look at what people are cussing about. Not cussing, but you know what I mean. Yeah, and we also have 17,000 subscriptions. That's crazy. Thank you so much. All right, son, listen, you need to stop trading. Take a break. Right, you need to take a break, my friend. You can't, you know, you can't. There's, this is another problem that a lot of traders have, right? When they come across a system, okay, and they apply... Has it dropped again? Stream retrace. <laughs> Stream retrace. <laughs> That's the best. <laughs> Stream retrace. That's crazy. Yeah, come to see the mother and her internet ain't so great, unfortunately. We don't have the problem in the week, but yeah. I did say to Mike, I don't know if I was going to stream tonight, man, because of this issue. But if it happens again, then probably we're going to end the, end the stream. But um, no, guys, I'm at my mother's, man. I don't. My mother doesn't need to have super fast internet, guys. You know, I'll, I'll tell you what, I'm going to give you my projection really quick. All right. I'm going to give you my projection really quick, okay? And then I'm going to do some videos and get them uploaded, okay? Okay, cool. So here we go. Right, Bitcoin. This is where we at. So, W formation. Bitcoin on the 15-minute time frame, okay, has formed a beautiful W formation at the moving averages, okay? If we bring it down to the one-hour time frame, what do we see? We see the same thing happening over and over again. Why is it that we see these formations happen, okay, at the moving averages? Why? Because that's where market makers like to build their positions because moving averages are where they can reset the, the, the global 
impression or value of whatever instrument that people are looking to trade, all right? The moving averages, look, deviation to the mean, reversion, sorry, mean reversion. Go and study the concept of mean reversion. Come back to the chart and witness it playing out. It's probably the only theoretical thing that I will stand true to in the markets. It's the mean reversion. Why? Because market makers need to bring price back into the zone to reset the intention. They can't keep letting price rise and rise and rise, although they can if they want, all right? By all means, they are welcome to keep price rising. If anybody remembers what happened to gold, only a few, well, it's about, it was about a year ago. Gold just kept on rising and rising and rising. It would not stop. No one could, it couldn't stop at all. And then before you know it, it went and dropped so much in one day. I think it dropped like five, 600 pips in one day. It was a wild journey to witness, all right? So go and check out Mean Reversion. There you go, Ruggy, he's, he's already onto it, all right? So if we consider Bitcoin's behavior over this past week, we are at the all-time highs. This is where they really play around with the retail traders' minds, all right? People don't want to miss out. This effectively is what people would call buying the dip, all right? But they've been squashing traders left, right, and center from it, okay? So for example, here we go. So everybody's going long in this area. This one candle here gave retail traders the impression that Bitcoin was going to go to the moon. And that's what the market makers needed to do. They needed to spike price to the high to get guys overly excited. They needed to get their excitement to get their shorts filled at the highest possible price, encourage them to set stop losses, and then start getting their shorts closed at lower prices. All right. And you can see what they've done. They've come back down, retrace, make the guys believe that the move to the upside is going to happen again. Spike price up, come back, close it, and then off you go. They drop and gap down, okay? Now, they took out all the stop losses and ran their shorts to the lower price points, okay? Come back to previous zones that they had built their shorts. And whilst they've been building their shorts up here, they've been closing them down here and opening longs at the same time. Notice psychological low right here was the first low of the session from sat Sunday night, okay? They brought price all the way back up. They induced retail traders to go lot, to go short here because they thought, right, that's it, we're at the highs, all right? They reversed price back up, took out the stops that all the short retail traders set here, got their longs triggered here, gave the retail trader the impression that price was at, a re um, at resistance, Let's get in again, says the retail trader, because I missed the move to the downside earlier on. They get in again, and before you know it, they shift back out of the zone and completely annihilate the retail trader, okay? If I readjust this, all right, you can see that we have had ourselves a successful clean break of the pattern. And this is something that you could have traded. You could have traded that break to the upside, right? Remember, this is an hour time frame. If you witness the 15-minute time frame, this is what you get. Look at that. If you entered long right on the break of the previous high of the W formation, you would have been in profit in an instance. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You would have finished there as a profit within two hours. Okay. You could have held it for the whole of the New York session and you probably would have looked to close right at the close of New York. Happy days. All right. Fair game. Not close of New York, close of London, sorry. All right? There's your money. Take your money and go. Come back, reevaluate. Once you've got price coming out of the moving average, what do you expect? Sorry, not the moving average. Coming out of the peak formation, you expect to retrace back into the zone. Always, whenever you see a W formation, you want price to come back and test the moving averages. And look what she's done. She's done just that. She's rose, she's come back to test the first moving average, although this moving average on the 15 minute time frames of 50 day, it's actually the 13 day EMA on the hourly. Ideally, you want it to touch the 50 day. However, it doesn't look like that's happened, maybe because there is a confluence of support in this area. Look at this line. This is the psychological high, the first high that was formed on Sunday, okay? And it looks like they're holding this area. So ideally, what we want Bitcoin to do is we want Bitcoin to continue to the upside, looking to hit 60K again. So I'm projecting Bitcoin could hit 60K. All right. Now, that's not financial advice. All right. This is me. All right. Giving a projection 
on the principle of what we understand price to do. It could go the opposite direction, guys. Who knows? But as it stands right now, support is coming in at the 50-day moving average on the 15-minute time frame. All right? We need it ideally to come down and test the 200-day moving average on the 15-minute because it's the hourly 50-day. Okay? So look, it could still do that. Yeah? It could still come back and test the 50-day right there. All right? The 200-day moving average is flat. Ideally, we want price to break out to the zone, break the zone, test yesterday's high, and continue up. It's tapped the M5 zone and pulled back. All right? You want it to come down and test the 50-day, continue up. Even if price comes down here, it will still be a valid formation. If it comes and breaks below here, we will then have to continue looking for or continue the initial m formation up here drop level one yeah drop level two do you understand so if this here this w fails all right we are effectively working on level one to the downside so this price action needs to close below this area here take it out completely to confirm a level one drop to the downside working on a level two formation um, a level two retrace continuation to the downside okay do we get that guys i will spout I'll, I'll, I'll get on the ether as well don't worry don't worry yeah cool cool Yeah, the M, could, listen guys, the M could also be in play. Let me just get rid of these here, all right? The M could still be in play, but we will only know the M is in play, all right, when price breaks above this zone here. It needs to break above this area here. 60K needs to be hit. If this, fifth, if this pullback, okay, to the 50-day holds and then continues back up, as long as it continues back up, happy days for us, guys. We're going to be hitting 60K only if this area shows the market maker's interest. Because look at what's happening here. The green candle here is the market makers effectively building shorts at a high possible price, okay, and getting them closed lower. Look at how it's a controlled move to the downside. They are starting to close those positions already. They could have other positions in the past over here that they want to get closed in that area. So they're getting those orders closed, all right? What you've got to understand here, guys, is, is until price breaks below, if it breaks below the 50-day the moving average and the 200-day moving average, you know that the M pattern up here is valid and we are working on breaking this zone down here, which effectively confirms level one to the downside. All right. But what is it that we see all the time? The week always seems to start with a W formation. What day are we in? We were in Monday false move week beginning. Look at the false move on Monday. Yeah, the false move happened. It came to the downside, got everyone thinking Bitcoin was going to drop. And then it simply reversed and pushed back up to the zone. So we're only going to know the intention of the market maker if it stays above this area. We know what the pattern is. We know what to expect from it. We just need to wait for confirmation. Do you guys understand that? Guys, I know I talk too fast. I know I talk too fast, but you know what? Doesn't matter, man. This is the, we work in real time. Do you understand? It is real time, and the reason why I'm talking fast right now is because this stream could collapse. Okay, the connection where I am right now is not very good. Normally, my connection is flawless, but today I've come to see my family, and at any moment's notice, we could disconnect, which is kind of crap because people want to see projections. If that's the case, I'll, I'll do a quick video and send it all out to you guys. All right. But I want to try and get it out to you. Take images, screenshot this. All right. If you need it, take it. All right. And have it as a reference point because guys, this stream is designed to help you train your eyes to variations of the pattern. You ain't going to learn it. Granted, if you take a picture of it, you're going to see a W formation there. You're going to try and replicate that across the whole charts. All right. But until you see it play out in real time, I mean, I've seen guys in the Discord, in the Patreon, they're taking before and after pictures of them drawing the pattern and then projecting where it's going to go and it lands to a T. Do you understand what that does to someone's confidence in this strategy? Because that's exactly how I understood the strategy. 
I projected continuously. I kept on going to my charts, drawing out the W's and the M's, finding the levels, finding the cycles, trying to work out where I am. All right. It's critical that you do that because it's going to help install in your mind the patterns. Once you've cracked the pattern in your mind, you're then going to be working on the cycles because the cycles are going to tell you whether or not your W or your M is going to be in play. All right. It's going to be a bit difficult if you see an M pattern forming, right? When it's not forming at a high, you're going to know not to take that M pattern. All right. Whereas if you take a W formation forming at the highs and you haven't seen a retrace, you know you're not going to be taking that W because you could be effectively in level one or level two. Do you understand what I'm saying? You're going you're gonna to know when a W is valid and when it's not because the problem with this strategy is the market makers effectively throw you off by printing Ws and Ms all over the place. All right? You drop down to the 15-minute time frame, what do you get? You can have weekly cycles right on the 15 minute time frame and many of them okay you've got to be careful if you drop down to the five minute time frame you can see weekly cycles in three hours all right do you understand that weekly cycles on the five minute time frame in three hours the one minute time frame you can see monthly cycles right because that's how small the time frame is you can see up rise retrace continuation whatever all right but let's just quickly look at the price action right here notice market makers started to sell off right here they started building their longs at the 50-day moving average. Didn't allow price to close below. All right. Now they look like they've ho they're holding this zone right here at the 50-day. This is a massive confluence. All right. Principally, what we want is we want price to bounce from this zone. Okay. If there is weakness and they do favor lower prices, it can come back down to test the 50-day moving average, which is the 200-day on the 15-minute. The 50-day the moving average on the hourly is what we want. And that is the 15 on on this time frame, on the 15 minute time frame, it's the 200 day. All right. For those who don't know it, I'm going to draw that there. There's the 50 day, the 200 day moving average. Drop down to the hourly. You'll see it right there. There's the 50 day right there. Okay. So that's what we're waiting for. Are we happy with Bitcoin, guys? Type one if you are, two if you're not. Love from Slovakia. Nice one. Thank you very much. Why is this a V? No, there's the, 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 this is it's the pattern it comes out. Huge thank you to everything you've done for me. I've turned 300 quid into 6k this weekend. Oh my god. Well done, my friend. Well done. Okay, one. Yeah, everyone's happy. Everyone's happy. Okay, cool, 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 cool. W V V M M D A A W. That's the one. W V V M. That's what it is. W V V M. That's what helps you determine the cycle. That's that's exactly why cough all day long. Yeah, the week. Listen, I've noticed this with Bitcoin. All right. The weekly cycle from the M formation, I mean, last week it did, all right? The M cycle last week did form. It completed from this W formation, right? Because it was the M up here. We came down, rise, retrace, rise, retrace, W formation. And then we went on to complete a weekly cycle to the upside, all right? But we found in the streams, and this is what you'll find in the streams, all right? Normally, whenever you see an M pattern, and it doesn't look really clear as well, this formation up here, okay, doesn't look that clear because of how long it consolidated, all right? It wasn't really much of an M formation. It looked like a triple head and shoulders, okay? If you notice, one point here, one here, and then one here, all right? But the, the, the W formation, right, look at the size of it. There's a massive consolidation in this area, all right? Massive consolidation in this area. Okay. Cool. All right, then. Next one. I'm going to be looking at um, Ethereum. Now, Ethereum was really funny, guys. Ethereum has made me laugh tonight. All right. So, we played a little bit of a game last week. All right. The stream, two days ago, we streamed on where we ideally would project where Ethereum was going to go. All right. 
So I sent this to the patrons. They sh they saw this, but this is what my next point is about this. All right, which is going to help a lot of people. Okay, so check this out. Here we go. So this was Ethereum last week. All right. No, no, two, three days ago. And we were talking about if this M formation doesn't play out, could we be forming a head and shoulders? So we've got the M as the left shoulder. Okay. Could this be this blue square here? Could that be the head? Okay. Or oh, sorry, could this be the head, the middle one? All right. And could the right box could be the shoulder? All right. We didn't know. We were just trying to project and play about with, you know, where Ethereum would likely go. Okay. Then you look at this and what actually happened. All right. And she came back and tested it to a T. Look at that. She came back and tested that box and pulled away from it. Now, Ethereum has been showing us a different pattern here. When I say different, she's she's not really shown us a clean W, but principally it's there. Look, there's the W right there. Now remember, guys, okay, the one thing about Bitcoin and Ethereum right now is this. We are down a liquidity pool. Yeah, we are down a liquidity pool. We missed UK's point on price on Friday and we've missed it today all right there's a lot of money that hasn't come into the markets UK has been closed for two days in terms of the marketplace all right now tomorrow morning we could see some interesting behavior a lot of interesting behavior could play out tomorrow morning we've got to be careful all right Ethereum if she holds this zone because you can see how price on the 15 minute time frame, all right, hasn't come anywhere near the moving averages. And look at this big spike to the high and then pull back another opportunity to get longs filled at higher prices to, to uh, move price out of the zone, get shorts or longs closed in this area here as well. All right. Granted, yeah, inverted head and shoulders is a variation of the W formation. That's all it is. If you want to see it, it's right there. One. Well, two, three. That's ideally where it's at. Ideally, you want to see that closer down here, but hey. But Ethereum, I mean, where is she going? What can we see? We can see the rise. Wait, let me move that here. Got the rise up. W formation. First pullback. Continuation to the upside. All right. We only know if she takes out the M5 zone. All right, you've got the range daily high up here. 2,211. Happy days. All right, is this the move? Is this the move that's going to take Ethereum to the next level? Look at the moving averages. They're stacked to the upside. They're pointing upwards. Drop down to the one hour time frame. What do we see? Yeah? Because remember... Unless she takes out this zone up here, this could be a massive M formation. But we will only know if she holds or doesn't hold this zone. If she holds this zone, takes out the high, happy days. We've got a pattern in play. All right. Are we good with that? Look, market make, of course market makers sleep, man. The algorithms don't. They program the algorithms to fulfill orders. They, they, they make these algorithms. They get these really smart kids to make these algorithms work, to execute trades. If the market makers slept, then the markets wouldn't be, clo would be closed. Like, it doesn't make sense to think that. You know, 
market makers themselves, they tell these guys where they want price to go. Guys, you know what? Okay, this is what I'm glad. I'm glad that I've done. I know, I know, I know. <laughs> Trying to take me out. <laughs> All right, guys, listen, man. All right, I can't allow you guys to have these interruptions. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to get some videos completed for you. All right, because I know you guys want some videos. I'm going to be putting out my projections on the other on the other channel as well. All right, so give me a second because I can't have these interruptions for you guys. Honestly, I'm, I'm not in my normal place where I normally stream. Okay, and I don't want that for you guys. Just for a second, people banging on about Litecoin. Let's have a look at Litecoin for a second. Because Litecoin moves before Ethereum does. Granted, Litecoin's probably going to move again. Where's she at? Oh, wow. Litecoin. She's hit both my projections. Look at that. 217, 224. Happy days. Look at that for projections, man. Happy days. All right, then. Um, here we go. I've got something for you guys. All right, then. So this is the channel, all right, that I'm going to be putting out all my projections. Okay. It's a new channel by Traders Reality. Go and subscribe to it because that's where I'm going to be putting all my projections for Bitcoin, Ethereum, and various altcoins as well. Well done, excellence, man. Well done. Well done for that, bro. There you go. Join that, guys. I'm going to pin it to the chat. Join that channel because that's where I'm going to be doing the projections. It's really for people who haven't got the time to sit through these streams. All right. So head over there. I'm going to be doing a couple of videos tonight for the Patreons. All right. And I'm going to do some how-to videos as well. Because these are things that I need to get sorted out before next week because we've got a busy few weeks coming, guys. All right. We're going to be interviewing Chart Champions. All right. Daniel from Chart Champions. We're going to be looking at and bringing Crypto Kite on as well. We're going to be bringing so many other guys as well. Mike Dutch is going to be doing streams, not just all about trading as well, you know. So when Mike Dutch streams tonight, guys, you know, fire some ideas over to him. Find out who is it that you want in the streams, in the podcasts. Yeah. I would love to speak to MM Crypto. I mean, he would just be so funny to talk to. Yeah. Love from Turkey. <laughs> Bitboy. Crypto face. Listen, Joe Rogan. God, oh, man. Could you imagine if we spoke to Joe Rogan? That would be nuts, man. Like podcast royalty. Although that, you know, that's debatable. I don't know if I'm if I'm right in saying that, but um, yeah, just for the record, just for the record, buy pine cones. <laughs> is that a joke or is that actually a coin? <laughs> if you all ask, yeah, guys. Also, make sure you join the Insta Traders Reality Instagram because we've got a competition for sh to be won um, to win Traders Reality shoes. All right. Make sure you actually follow the Instagram. All you got to do is take a picture of the pattern, put happy days, you know, wherever you want in the world. I've had some awesome submissions, man. Guys have even gone to programming. Yeah. I mean, programming the pattern. Can you believe that? Yeah, that is awesome, man. I really like that. People gone and tattooed it. I've got my tattoo at the end of April. That's when that that's when I get my tattoo because I agreed that guys in the Discord have collectively earned over six hundred thousand dollars collectively 
All right, so only between 5,000 people, people that have applied this strategy, $600,000 has been earned by following the streams. I'm hoping we're gonna hit a million very soon if we haven't done already, because I'm hearing a lot of people are making a lot of cake. Well done, Torin, man. And guys, remember, yeah, listen, if you're making money in this stream, pay it forward, man. Pay it forward. Yeah? Make sure you give some of it. Don't think in lack. All right? Only if you're in a position to give these, give your profits away, guys. I'm not saying if you make 50 bucks, go and give 25 or whatever. Yeah? But if you're making cake continuously, pay it forward, man. Go show someone. You know, show someone how to do it. Because if you're able to understand it, all right, in the time. I mean, this stream's only been going for like seven, eight weeks, guys. All right? And if you're starting to realize how it works in such a short amount of time, your life is going to be an enjoyable one. Only if you remain consistent and loyal to the way the strategy works. All right? Because we can have a thing called beginner's luck. All right? Don't get excited when you start seeing patterns playing out. This game has to be boring. Because when it's boring, it means you understand it. You don't have the thrill anymore. You're there because it's about survival. You've got to take whatever you can and bounce and continue about your day. Yeah? Look, if you keep selling, all right? If you keep selling at the wrong time or you keep getting in at the wrong time, that's fine. The idea is to improve the accuracy. There isn't, su There is no such thing as a perfect entry. All right? Get that out your head. Don't come to these streams and try and absorb the information and not place a single trade which is effectively going to apply what you understand about the strategy. Don't do that to yourself because you will never place the trade. And then the first trade that you put down, you're going to be panicking about. You're probably going to put down some size because you've convinced yourself that you've studied everything you've needed to study. You put down the money. The trade loses. You're fucked up. You start dismissing it. You lose confidence in yourself and you come away and you say the strategy is shit. Don't make that mistake. Trade with a small amount. All right. Don't aim for leverage, guys. Leverage right now is so fashionable in crypto. It's frightening, right? It is so big right now. People are getting burnt, man, with leverage. It's frightening at how much money is leaving people's pockets by simply 10x, 25, 75x. That is crazy, man. In crypto, it's crazy. Forex leverage is different, all right? In, in crypto, it's a different kettle, man. I mean, God. I mean, guys, Mike Dutch, he talks very well about leverage. PC Shed, he helps you understand leverage. Make sure you understand what leverage is, all right? Would you sign a contract with that, you know, blindly just signing it and not caring about it? No. So why would you apply leverage in that same principle? Because leverage is about contracts, guys. You're agreeing to something. If you're going to receive X amount of money, <laughs> what does it cost? Because they showcase it and say, look, 10x your money. Yeah? You're thinking, wow, if I put 100 pounds down, I can 10x that value. Boom. Happy days. Do you think market makers will recover profits from the orders placed on the 29th of March down to 54k? Seems like a lot of money left behind. Nudge, look. If we go and look back at Bitcoin, all right? 29th of March, okay? This zone right here. I'm guessing you're referring to this zone right here. Well, look, they've actually come back to it. They only needed to come back to this part of the actual order because remember, this candle wasn't green whilst it was forming. It finalized up here green and then finished at the high here. So it needed to turn green. So before it turned green, market makers were pushing price up. The moon boys were stepping in. Then the market makers stepped in and got their shorts filled at higher prices, right? Which is why when you see price pull back to it, it only recovers to that point there. Look left. It only recovers there. Then it comes back down again. They take out some more of those orders. Then they bring it back down again here, which is effectively just over halfway of that coin, um, halfway of that candlestick. So would we need to come back to that zone? I'm not saying we don't, we can't come back to that zone because market makers can do whatever they want. 
for all we know, the moving averages price right now could absolutely collapse and drop and it could even come back down here. Yeah, who knows? But anything can happen in this market, guys. Remember that. And if you're okay with that, you're going to start, you're going to have a good chance in this game. Yeah, you're going to have a good chance in this game. Like, good look, guys, here you go. You're falling into it now. 54 seems like a good place. Yeah, you know, 35, 42, 51. The importance of not paying attention to price is so critical in this. All right, because once you start thinking about price, you're going to wait for more people to talk about it. You're going to convince yourself that it's going to be a place that price is going to go. Then what happens? Thank you very much, Straight Pippin. Thank you so much, bro. What do you think is going to happen when you start seeing more people talking about 54, 54? You're going to go short here, for example, because you believe price is going to go down to 54. Who knows? It could actually go down to 54. But think about what I'm saying. If you've got it in your head that you think 54 is going to be a price that Bitcoin's going to go see because you've seen various thumbnails, you've seen major YouTube channels talking about it, all right? You enter, you wait for price to go down to 54, and whilst you're waiting for it to go down to 54, it's making new highs. At what point are you going to say to yourself, fuck, I'm wrong? Well, I watched YouTube. I heard this guy say it. I heard that guy say it. Get rid of the idea of value in your mind. Get rid of it because that's the trick. That's what market makers use to make you stay committed to price. Yeah? Do you know how many people are stubborn in this game? They, I don't think Bitcoin will ever go to 60. I don't think it will ever go to 32. You're basically saying that you know when the market maker, when the market maker is going to apply his impression of where he thinks Bitcoin's going to go. You seem to know that. So you're saying that you're better than the market maker. You know his next move. Why are you on this stream watching this? Yeah? Get price out of your mind. Focus on what she's doing. Yeah? Focus on what she's doing. Then you'll know where price is going to go. Then you can look at price and say, you know what? Yeah, Bitcoin right now is at 60. Happy days. Before you know it, right, Bitcoin's going to hit 100K and you're going to be like, well, it's forming a W formation exactly the same way as it did when it was at 55 or 57 or even 58. All right. Funny enough how this pattern at 58,000 is no different to this pattern at 51. Funny how it's no different at 55 and it's then no different at 48. Do you understand what I'm trying to say? All right. It doesn't matter what the price is. On that note, guys, I'm going to leave you guys to it, man. I haven't asked you for any likes this evening because I've the, the actual stream itself. I'm not too confident on the way it's going. I don't want to be getting into it too much. All right. But pretty much giving you my projections for Bitcoin. Okay, so I just hope you guys are, I've got to guys, I can't, I can't, I can't take you through this, okay? Right, Bo, the benefits of a market maker, Patreon, a Patreon market maker versus a patent tier, all right, is the, the market, you effectively get more time with me, all right? You get more insight into what I'm, what I do and how I think about price, okay? Um, well, message me on the Discord, man, and I'll get into, go into more detail about it, my friend. All right? Hold on, I haven't got the system down, but you've been the catalyst of change for life, that decoup. No worries, man, no worries. All right? Guys, listen. Yeah, get the likes to a 1,000. <laughs> That'll be cool. Matthew, thank you very much, bro. Yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to spend some time doing some videos for you guys. All right? But listen, mad love to you. We'll speak to you tomorrow, guys. We roll it out tomorrow. Big up, people. Nice one. Take care.